but that was a lot longer than I expected. Still setting up, so give me a second. Not a big fan of this new layout that YouTube has us using, but you know, what can you do? Okay, hi everyone, and welcome to Mighty Ginkgo Lecture. Yeah, I like that. A Mighty Ginkgo Lecture. My name is Zero, and I'll be the one lecturing you through this process. Hopefully I don't get hit by the YouTube uh, nipple guard again, so I'm trying my best to keep my chest up. Okay, so what I want to talk about is triangles. I guess I should wait until somebody actually comes in. Okay, we got two people here. That's enough to start a class. You know, I didn't even check and see if my mic is going this time. Hello, hello? Hello? Hello, hello? Yeah, okay, there it is. Last time we started a live, I didn't even have the uh, thing on, the mic. <laughs> okay, so what I want to talk to you guys about is triangles. Now, triangles, as you know, are... are three edges connected together to form a triangle. So I'm going to show you a fancy one. And just create a plane. Though this is technically a quad. Let's see. It, there we go. Now, these are triangles. These are what make up all of the 3D space and things that we have in Second Life. Now I know you can remove your triangles and turn them into quads, but for you know better ease and all that jazz. But you know, in the end, Second Life is just going to turn it back into triangles. So, ugh. I don't really know how to do this. Basically, I want to talk to you guys about. You know what? That's it. I'm gonna stop trying to be professional and just how do you kids say it? real talk. So right now, Second Life is in the process of launching a new program called Arc 10, which is going to change the way that people upload stuff to Second Life. Um, basically, what it is is a bunch of snobby-ass creators at the creators meet and says that people don't create more optimized stuff for Second Life, and they make their items a little too heavy for my liking and I don't like it now make sure that you you imagine me with my finger in the air because that's what they do I don't like it when people get the shortcut and then just use Second Life's automatic LOD maker instead of making their own LODs I as a professional pro make my own LODs and I think everybody else should too even if that does make the process a lot longer and it may take more time and money, it's not my fault because I learned the professional way. I'm sick of all these people taking shortcuts. And um, on top of that, you have them also saying that they're going to charge you more for your upload. So if you upload an item that is heavy and triangles, you're going to be charged you know, a certain rate per triangles which is to kind of discourage you from making high triangle items, like really heavy clothes and stuff. Now, I see where they're coming from. You got to remember that Second Life's an old girl, and she can't handle stuff like she used to. And we're just piling the heavy stuff onto it, and it's affecting the server. What I disagree with is the fact that they're not giving anybody any proper, um, how do you say, information on how to make optimized clothing they're just saying you should already know how to do that versus let me show you how to do it so their way of trying to get people to optimize it is to force you to do it rather than to show you pun basically punishing you for it, but not telling you how to do it and you know i already yelled at a linden about that and he ain't come back to those meetings since so 
before they force you guys on to uh, doing it, whatever system they come up with, I figure since I'm somebody who teaches you guys stuff, it's kind of my responsibility to at least pretend to show you um, why high triangle stuff is good and bad at the same time and, you know, give you something to think about when you're creating your stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the number one culprit for making high poly stuff, and that's Marvelous Designer. So as your teacher, I apologize for never really going across this with you earlier. Okay, so this is the avatar that I'm wearing right now. So I'm going to work with this, and I'm going to put her in um, Marvelous Designer. So we're just going to export her out like I usually do, and I have no idea where it is. There it is. I'm going to selection only, turn off the UVs, because if I don't, then, you know, she's going to be transparent. I'm like, where's Marvelous? Looking on my desktop like they were, it would be there. It's never here. It's water wide low. Oof. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to load in our lady. Now we'll deal with the aesthetic thing later. Okay. Oh, I lost my feet. How am I going to make a, a t-shirt without feet? That's just ridiculous. <laughs> okay. So let's make a t-shirt. The t-shirt is the most simplest thing that we can make. Actually, you know what now? The dress is the easiest thing we can do. To, the ye old tube dress. Two squares and a flip. And there you go. Something like that. Okay. So we have this t-shirt, and I'm going to pull it down a little bit. I like to think I have some class. There we go. <laughs> okay, so when you're making clothes in Marvel's Designer, people see these uh, wrinkles and folds and stuff, and they look a little janky, and they think, okay, the first thing I'm going to do, ooh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the particle distance up because the more particle distance it is, the smoother it looks, the prettier it is. That's usually the mindset of people when they first come into here. Now I'm going to make three, export three versions of this dress out. One where I'm at 20 uh, particle distance, which is still kind of high, but it's around the default level. So I don't know if they changed that in newer versions, but in the old one, it was like 21, 25, something like that. So I'm just wanting this 20, and I'm going to export our dress, and export it in here. And then I'm going to turn it up a bit to maybe 30, which is like that. So export OBJ, 30. And then we have, the, oh my god, why? And some person had that damn thing. So I was at 15. 15. And then, uh, there, that one student I had, that had everything on five. And now, let me just say this. Never, ever make your clothes on five unless you're, like, this big. Because I know with tinies, you need more space, more things, and it's not as thick. But when it's on a normal, standard person, five? Really? No. Quote Bianca Del Rio. <laughs> no. So, no fives. So, uh, so let's back up. Hey, Combi. Hey, Sabine or Sabine. 
you. <laughs> so, um, that's where we're at right now. We have all of our stuff in here, so I'm going to bring it into Blender, which I thought I closed, but I didn't. Okay, not closed. I have so many things in this dev kit. I didn't get a chance to clean it yet. So please pardon the intro. Let me see. Let's scoot. So I'm going to import them. You know, I used... To, oh, yeah, there we go. I'm like, I used to have this script that lets you batch import OBJ. All right, here we go. Mm. <laughs> and that's why we don't batch import. Cloth shape, cloth, cloth one. All right, so five... How did I? And I closed Marvelous, didn't I? <sighs> ah, Dios. That's what I get for trying to show off. Every time I try to show off, that's when stuff breaks. Like, nope. So that's 15. Wonder. <sighs> Thirty. That five, eh? It's bad all around. It's a bad seed. Oh, guess I didn't save it. But we can run back in here and make another one. Hey, Jelly. You know, I still didn't name the ones that came in, so they just dresses. I don't know which one is which. <sighs> Damn PSAs. They never go right. That's how I feel. That that simulation. I just feel like yay no. Ugh. Okay, so it's not exactly the same. So the, the test isn't exactly there. You go. But y'all get what I'm saying. The principle's still the same. Let's see. Turn it to five. Let me unpause it while I'm simulating. My computer's like, no, uh, uh. Let's just pretend that this is the same dress and we got it on five. It shouldn't stray too much and it should still hold my message here. Yeah, come on over. Say hi. 
Don't be afraid to message me. All right. Yeah, so here's five. All right, so we have our dress, we have our model. This is the model when the, the stuff is at 50 in the tab. I mean, edit mode, you can see that it is a 7,384 triangles, which is pretty good for a dress. You want it nice and low poly and still doesn't look that bad. Sure, the shade and then this is bad, and that's mostly because I'm on the older blender, but we can always lightly. You know what? How about I open it up on the, the, the pretty blender, not the rig and blender? We'll come back to the rig and blender later. But right now, for looks. No, 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 no. No party at my skybox. Y'all remember the last party we had at the skybox? How nauseous I got afterwards. No, thank you. I remember when I met with her face, the uh, Emily, and I did her show, and she's like, "What? So where do you live?" I'm like, "In a five twelve box on the side of the road." I'm like, what? <laughs> Clearly, you're joking. You must have like a mansion or so, right? And like, nope, five twelve box side of the road. Okay, so I like to turn my strength down just a bit, and use smooth and run it across it and smooth out all those harsh harsh wrinkles to soften it out it'd be a lot easier if i had turned the strength up but i always go low because some reason i always turn it up one bit too high and it smooths the wrinkles right out of it so yeah that so when you go into edit mode you can see how many vertices edges faces and try tries try tris but it's just triangles um, is in your garment. Second Life deals in triangles, so don't be lured, like fooled by the vertices, thinking that, oh, it's only 3,000 verts. Nah, it's triangles. That's what Second Life looks at. So 7,000 is fine. You always want to stay, like ideally, when it comes to making clothes and pretty much everything on Second Life, you want to stay under 15K. 10k is really where the, the gold the gold standard 15 is when textures and stuff start to get wonky and everything else above that is like oh my god why now I know sometimes it's impossible when you're dealing with stuff like hair it's very rare to see hair really low but with clothes we got more a little more control over it so um, we try to keep that low and I'm going to show you about why about that and give you something to think about. So this is our 15, our 20, right? 15. This is 15. So you see, that's where that is. Now, I think the triangles in this are 4. So this must be the 30. And again, we could just move it out. This is my fault. I really should just put them back in here. Now this is the 30. Same dress, but only one. You know if they make us do our LODs, this is what y'all gonna have to do for real, right? Like, upload your own in there. Different one. So this would be like our low def, what you call it, one. So this is what people would like to see you do. But it's like, bro. Time for that shit. No one has. So this is the 20, this is 15, this is 20, and you see it's 4,000, and this is 1,000. Now let's see about that 5, if I can find it, there we go, 5, and this is the 68,572 68, triangle dress. Yeah, you don't want that. 
<laughs> that is bad. In fact, if you even try to upload something like this to Second Life, Second Life is going to tell you no. It's over the limit of 65,555. And, you know, you got to go and decimate it. All right. So I bet you're wondering, but why, my dear Zero? No, 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 no. No more customs. No customs ever. I'm sorry. I just did a really intense job and it, it scarred me. I, I'm done with customs for a good while until I can recover. I'm sorry. <sighs> okay. So let me get back to this. Now I bet you're saying, hey, Zero, what's the big, uh, what's the big deal? Look how smooth this one looks. Look how professional that is. This is uh, what we should be striving for. The more triangles that are on here, the more details you can put on your dress, the more high quality your dress is or your t-shirt or your garment is, right? Wrong. <laughs> that is the bad way of thinking. A dress like this, well... I think it's time for me to show you why it's bad to make a dress like this. So I'm going to go here into Second Life real quick. And I'm going to make this into an outfit because I look so cute. Okay. Now I don't know if you people know this, but I've been in Second Life for a long time. <laughs> yeah, custom par party crashing. Okay, so I don't know if you guys know, but I've been in Second Life for a very long time. Practically grew up in here. And I've seen a lot of things change. And a lot of things stay the same. And one of the things that has changed is the items that people create in Second Life. We used to just have system avatars, then we had sculpty avatars, and now we have mesh avatars. And when mesh came, people just dove in and created like wildfire. The only so it it changed. The whole landscape changed. <laughs> but one thing that didn't change was the server that Second Life has. Grammy Zero. <laughs> Back in my day. <laughs> Well, one of the things that didn't change was the server that Second Life is on. Now, I know now they're doing the whole uplifting thing and they're taking our servers to the cloud, which is giving us better performance. But for the most part, um, the servers are pretty much the same. They can handle stress, but, you know, only so much. So, when these servers were created way back when in 2000 some odd, dig like single digits, it was made for the roof avatar. I mean, I know their updated roof. There used to be an old roof and then the new roof 2.0, which is the roof that we all know and love, that little pink lady. So I'm going to take off my avatar and go back. Hang on, she's a chugging. It was made for this. This and maybe some more flexies. This roof avatar weighs, okay, so this avatar was the only mesh that was on Second Life. Everything else was in-world polygons and stuff like that, so it really wasn't that heavy. I mean, you would have a whole bunch of polygons or prims on here, and they would be like one, 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 or something like that. And the only real complex, if you would call it complex mesh, was the default avatar that we see here and whatever shape it was pretty much all the avatars weighed the same on the server minus a few of the um you know prims that were on it but that was like one prim per piece of something that was on you so if you had um like a flexi skirt or something that she had on here that would be however many panels on there's 10 vertices or so 10 triangles 
maybe one. I'm not sure how many triangles is inside that. But let's just say for the sake of argument, one panel was like uh, 12, right? Let me get that ugly skirt back on here. Okay, so we have our skirt. And... Yes, drop it. Okay. Okay, so let's say we have our skirt here. And each prim that's on here... Mm, is like 10 triangles. So 10 times 11, so it's 110 triangles or so. Yeah, nobody's sleeves would connect. <laughs> Wild days. All right, so the skirt was like maybe 110. And then you would have more triangles on top of you. But everything was totally under, like no matter how heavy anybody was, uh they were all definitely under 15k in triangles all together which is why people reminisce in the days of old how smooth everything was because everybody was pretty much under like 15k under 20k just with the avatar so now we have the age of mesh and you know this shit won't fly nowadays you got to create your own stuff <clears throat> How am I going to say this next part? This Second Life avatar is exactly 9,000 triangles. The system, the servers can only hold so many avatars on any cell. So, like, with a sim, let me see. All right, let's just say that you're in a sim and the sim has a maximum of 20 avatars. That's as many avatars as that sim can hold and still function properly. One av Second Life avatar, classic roof like this, is 9,000 triangles. So basically, when you're making a garment like this one, that's... 68,572, let's put that in, so clear, 68,000, oh, I forgot, that's not money, <laughs> 68,572, divided by 9,000, you're like 9, and then we round it up, because it's 6, you're like 9 to 10 avatars or so. So this dress has all the power, like all the weight of 9 avatars. And that's just the dress. Now add in how much hair, how many triangles is inside your hair. Most hair in Second Life is like 20k. So... Didn't there, be, wasn't, uh, didn't there used to be a, a back button for that? Nope. <laughs> so, 8, 6, 5, 7, 2. Wait, why did I get 8 from? Wasn't it 6? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I'm losing the whole take this serious shock and all. So, 6. Oh, you know what? I put the number in wrong anyway. Six eight five seven. Six eight five seven two. Divided by nine thousand. Oh, so you're like seven avatars rounded up. Eight avatars. Okay. So six thousand six eight five seven two. Plus the 20,000 for your hair 
and how much is the fee? Like, let's just be be kind. Five thousand triangles for one foot. Five thousand triangles for another foot. About three hundred per toenail. So three times ten. So it was about this three thousand for your toenails. Um, you know another. Let's say three thousand for your fingernails. Uh, what else do you guys wear? Two hundred for eyelashes. If y'all have those mesh eyeballs, let's just say that for in there. So you see everything you wear, and then you got don't even get started on the jewelry. <laughs> so everything you wear adds to your triangle count and adds to the weight of it. So let's just say this is a very basic lady who's wearing, you know avatar mesh hands mesh fingernails mesh toes and your killer 60k dress and then divide all of that by the 9,000 and you got like 11 avatars on just one person so it's 11 avatars of stress just while you're standing there wearing one and uh, the you know what I didn't even go back and think about the body so, you know, that's what you need to think about. That's why they're stressing, okay, we need people to make smaller things because it's too heavy. Instead of elf dears. <laughs> yeah. So, that's what I want you guys to think about when you're making your clothes. It may be, okay, it's just one item, but you got to think about all the other things that people might wear and when they go into it. That's why when you go into any kind of fair or something, especially a fashion fair, it's like walking er, 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 even on the best computer because the server is being overloaded. At most things, people can only accept a sim that has 50 people that can be allowed in there. And... If somebody's wearing just what we made up right here, one person is 11, so 11, 22, 23, ugh, as it goes on, wait, what am I, my math is bad, 22, 20, 11, 22, 33, 44, 55, <laughs> and that's just five people, so it's overkill on the sim. It's holding way more data than the sim can even have, so that causes the lag in world and not only that then you got to factor around regional stuff like the decorations that are out and then on top of that even more script lag and then the absolute worst is textures because if the the heavy weight of the triangles wasn't killing the, the server enough everybody is putting 1024 textures on everything 10, although Second Life can support 1024 textures. Right. And I'm totally jealous. I mean, uh, what you call it? Um, guilty of that. I'm sorry. I taught y'all the dupe and flip. <laughs> then you have regional things and like this. And also, like I said, uh, 1024 textures. Although Second Life can support a little bit higher it takes the server longer to render 1024 textures than it does with 512 or 256. So the goal is to be able to make low poly mesh with small textures rather than, especially if you have to have a lot of textures, rather than a lot of them. I always thought that it would be better to use a 1050. 1024 by 512 just so it cuts it in half uh, but when you're making something like fingernails and things like that you don't need to have a 1024 texture on it it's like it doesn't make it so high def or anything that's where your creativity we're using bump maps and everything else makes it better Whew. so sorry that took so long to explain but yeah, I've been meaning to get around to explaining that to people. 
So I hope you keep that in mind when you're making your clothes. When you're making like a simple t-shirt or something, it shouldn't be this dense. Now, I know that some people are saying, hey, well, if you had quadded that, it wouldn't be so hard. All right, well, let's go look at that and see what the difference is. Quadding does help reduce the, um, the poly count and things. I'll give it that. But Second Life is just going to put the triangles right back. So I'm going to put this here and we're going to 60 count. 60, okay. And put this on my desktop. Now, I don't know the whole method of topo retopology. I never learned. I was totally happy with triangles. But I do know that you can use ZBrush to quickly remesh it. And that's my favorite way of doing it. So I'm going to show you. Don't ask me where I got this ZBrush from. I, I had this for years, back when this version was new. <laughs> There's our smooth and pretty dress. Now, how did they tell me how to do this again? Uh, poly groups, auto groups with UVs, and then the geometry, I think. It's been so long. ZBrush, freeze groups. plug-in no 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 um uv master uh poly groups unwrap and then we have this and i export it out huh that's different Oh, because it's got that image search on here. So it's going to... I forgot to uncheck image search. Every time you import something from ZBrush, always remember to uncheck this box. Okay. So we bought it in, and the triangle count did indeed drop from 65K to 45K. Which is still bad, but, you know... Wait, is that just one edge? One size? Hang on, let's put this back together. They're in two parts. And let's turn this off because it's burning my eyeballs. Alright, here we go. I'm going to remove doubles. Okay. So together... Oh, it dropped down a lot, didn't it? Okay, so cutting it by quads. Turning it into quads, dropped it by half. So now... It's 38 instead of 36. So, hey, XO, get back to work, you slacker. Okay, so, yeah, I take it back. So, turning things quad does make it a lot better. But it's still too damn high. So, I want you to think about that. Like the rent, that shit is too damn high. <laughs> hmm. It does look a lot better too. No, 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 no. We can't be making high poly stuff. This is exactly why. So, if you must make a high poly garment, 
maybe you should probably run it through the quarter and chuck it by half. So let's say for some reason, even though it's made quad and it's still high and you want to reduce it some more and lose this beautiful topology by the way, you can always use the decimator. And I want to say it like it's one of them 80s, the decimator. <laughs> so basically, when you use the decimator, you want to keep your eye, or I keep calling it the decimator. It's not, it's called decimate. There is no er at the end of it. It's just fun to say er. Okay. So say we have our garment here, and topology is like not an issue with you. You're not one of those kind of folks. I would say rig it first then while it's all beautiful and quad then start to do the decimation and go over or is it better to decimate first and then do it oh, oh sorry rambling all right so what you want to do is turn on the decimate and you want to make sure that you're in object mode and you want to click on this and slowly bring it down as you bring it down you'll see it is breaking the mesh down into a simpler form and reducing is try count you want to keep your eyes like if you watch anime you want to do the anime subtitle method where you're looking down and up at the same time so you want to keep your eye over on the garment and you want to keep your eye up here on the triangle count and you want to reduce it as much as you can while keeping your eye on the garment and making sure it's not losing too much detail you don't want to accidentally pull it down and it's like, you know, like this. But you don't want it to be too much. So like that. And then once you got it to a place that you like, you hit apply. The topology will be ruined. But as you can see, we got it down from being a 60K dress to a 3K dress. And it still looks pretty good. So maybe that's a good method to try to use. Make it in Marvelous, quad it in ZBrush, decimate it in Blender, and then do all your rigging. Yes, should I not? Oh, am I saving this live? It saves automatically. I thought you were saying, are you saying this live? People are listening. <laughs> so, yeah, the the topology is pretty butt. However, you know, nothing says we can't run it through the Z mesher again. <laughs> I wonder what will happen to it. Let's, let's run it through again. It saves automatically, so you can go over this. I guess that's the one. I don't remember what we named it. Damn. Yeah, the um the back face culling thing. But back face culling is how you'll see it in Second Life. Second Life doesn't do this. Alright. 
Hey, look at that. It's a little more work, but the results are pretty good. If you must have that. Oh no, it's fine. Welcome my Sims cousin. So yeah, now our 64 dress is still a four is now a 4K dress and it was reduced and it still looks pretty good. I wish we would have had the old five though. That was beautiful with those wrinkles and stuff. Like one of those I guess I should have used. Dang that, but I done gone and broke that dress. Uh, okay, here it is. Then put a little color on it. Let's make this one blue so we can tell them apart. So this is the five k, the sixty-five k dress, and this is the new five k dress. So really, not much difference. <sighs> yeah if only <laughs> okay guys that's it for this live lecture did you have any questions did it help you do you now it's now <sighs> if they get pe um, pretzel crust then they'll have my business I can get stuffed crust from Little Caesars. <laughs> okay, okay. So, questions, comments, and concerns. I hope this helped you understand why you should think about your mesh before you just go and make heavy stuff. Our systems are old. Now, while we can abuse them, we shouldn't abuse them. And you don't want to be... <laughs> you don't want to be that one person who's just as heavy as a full sim of people. In a sim full of people. Try to utilize textures and bump maps if you can. To give your stuff that extra detail. Or go through the hoop I just showed you using ZBrush if you can. And if you got ZBrush, it's worth taking some classes to learn how to use it properly. Because then you can just sculpt all the detail into it without sending up the try count. Unfortunately, I'm a little too dumb for ZBrush. All I barely managed to do was do the, um, what do you call it? The Z remesher. So, that's... Not gonna be me who you're gonna get ZBrush stuff from. Sorry. There was a lady on here. I can't remember her name, but she did a really good ZBrush tutorial for Second Life. She made a snaggle helmet and showed how to transfer all the detail from a high poly to a low poly. And I swore I was gonna watch it, but I just sent everybody else to it. And I was hoping that somebody would explain it to me, but nobody did. <laughs> Okay, well, I guess we're, another thing, I, I guess we're at time. <laughs> um, I'll come up with a different thing, because somebody asked if we can make a ball gown tutorial. Yeah, I'm sure you can. It's just, woo. I'm not very good when it comes to technical things. I'm an artist. My stuff has to be organic and heavy. <laughs> which is why I learned about the weight and stuff in comparison hmm second oh god no damn shoes no shoes we're barefoot here 
Shoes are banned. You gotta be like that guy. That's art. <laughs> I mean, the old way of uh, doing an inside to it was to, I guess those didn't convert over nicely, now did they? Let's select the bottom. Oh yeah, I forgot. When you use Z remesher, you don't exactly get edge loops. They're non-existent. Let me cut, grab some digital scissors and cut off this bottom here. Skimp up this dress a little bit. And snip. Cool. Now I got a bottom. And I can either extrude it back out as long as it was. So, uh, what was that? EX. No, 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 no. EZ. There we go. EZ. EZ. And make it long. Back to where I cut off. And before we would just go E and S and then drag it in like this and pull it up like a debt and then that would be it and you could just extrude up if you wanted to but it was always best to do this after you rigged it because sometimes I used to run into a problem where my insides would poke out of the bottom of my dress but this is usually how we used to do the old I have to look under the body to see the dress also it's, it's a good idea to do this when you got legs or something in here so you can see how up you got to pull this. And that's how you do the inside of like dresses. I like to do the dupe and flip only with certain things like uh, jackets and skirts and stuff. Some skirts. Well, Kai, if you do it, let us know or show us what you did. You know, I just made this dress for this tutorial, but I really like it. It seems very 80s. I need a leather jacket and a belt. I'm going to be set. This is kind of what I wear in real life. <laughs> I hate leaving you guys, but I got a scoop so we can do another tutorial. So, don't touch that dial. Well, maybe you have to, to refresh it. Because someone asked about a tutorial on ball gowns. And we already did that, and I got an hour to kill. So, I figure, why not make a ball gown, pour yourself a cup of juice, and sit back and watch me. Or, you know, we can do the Rob, the Rob Ross. Rick. Isn't it Rob Ross, right? Happy trees. You can guys can paint along with me. Make a ball gown for your avatar. Winter is here, and that is ball gown season. Hmm. A winter ball gown. Yes, there's something that I wanted to try. I was like, what if I use, you know, whenever I make a ball gown, I like to put a sheer layer over it. I was working on... What was that dress called? The dress from Phantom of the Opera and it has a sheer outer layer and whenever I try to make one I always get triangles showing even if it's not any bad like even if there shouldn't be triangles. What if we made the outer layer in Blender instead of in Marvelous? Hmm. I don't know about y'all but I think that is some um, it warrants some experimentation. Okay, okay, okay. For reals. Hope this helped you. Please keep the message in mind. Make your stuff light, not so heavy, because soon they're going to start forcing us to do so. So you might as well get into the habit of it doing it now. And, yeah. Good luck with your projects, and I'll see you guys in Discord.